Djibouti is a small country on the Red Sea. It's a country with few resources, yet it hosts military bases belonging to the US, Japan, France, Italy, and more recently China and Saudi Arabia. So what makes Djibouti so attractive to these military powers? To answer that question, we have to get a little closer. Djibouti controls the Strait of Babel Mendeb, a strait 30 kilometers wide and through which 10% of world trade passes, a vital choke point for world trade. Djibouti also borders the Red Sea, but wait, six countries border the Red Sea. That's nothing special, right? However, Djibouti is a stable country in an otherwise unstable region. Somaliland isn't recognized yet, Sudan is only now starting to open up, Eritrea is a dysfunctional state, and Yemen is in the midst of a civil war. Djibouti's stability is what makes it so attractive. The president, Omar Ismail Gwele, has been in charge for 19 years. Before that, it was his uncle in charge. Now, this may not be a great thing in terms of democracy and human rights, but it is a good thing if you're a military power looking for a stable place to put your military base. This proximity to so many volatile regions in the Middle East and Africa makes it the perfect location for military bases. Djibouti's former colonial ruler, France, has maintained a presence since Djibouti's independence. The US set up camp in 2002, followed by Japan in 2011, then Italy in 2012. The latest arrival is China, which obtained its base in 2017. Even Saudi Arabia has a presence, and India is rumored to be eyeing a base of its own. The Red Sea links Africa and the Middle East, and opens out to Europe via the Suez Canal, making it very important to global markets. It's the main passageway for Gulf oil to reach Europe, and the shortest commercial route to Europe from Asian markets, but its proximity to countries in turmoil such as Yemen and Somalia makes the route dangerous and fragile. For Japan and China, the military installations here are their first overseas bases, while for the US, it's the country's only permanent military base on the African continent. Compared to the American military base, China's base is much bigger with its own port. To understand why China chose Djibouti as its first foreign military base, you have to zoom out a little. The Bab el Mendeb is one of three key maritime choke points in the Middle East, alongside the Suez Canal and the Strait of Hormuz. The Strait of Hormuz, the choke point for nearly all of the Middle East's oil, is a high priority for China in particular, considering that's where China sources most of its oil. But protecting its oil interests isn't China's only motive. China also has an interest in warding off pirate attacks on the crucial trade routes between the Indian Ocean and the Mediterranean as well as protecting its investments in Africa. For the US, following the bombings of the US embassies in Nairobi and Dar es Salaam, the bombing of the USS Kohl near the coast of Yemen, and most significantly, the 9-11 attacks, the US set up its military presence in Djibouti, allowing it to carry out operations with regards to its global war on terror. Over the years, military powers have sent their forces to Djibouti either to carry out surveillance and counter-terrorism strikes or to deter the threat of piracy to international shipping lanes. As Asia becomes even more integrated into global trade, the straits that connect the Mediterranean with the Indian Ocean will become of even greater strategic importance. It's no wonder so many military powers are setting up camp in Djibouti. Thanks for watching. It took a while to put this video together. If you didn't like the video, go ahead and hit the dislike button, but also let me know how I can improve for future videos. If the video is okay, then don't forget to subscribe.